we're still we we still talking about the same company. What's the name of the company? All about logistics. Oh, okay. And all right, so now you got the truck fits. Yep. They pay to get the truck fits. So now the truck is fits, but yet you wake up this morning to no settlement in your in your bank account. For the second week, yes. For two weeks in a row, you haven't gotten paid. Correct. Okay. And the reason that you haven't got paid this week is? He told me he's got nothing to give. He's all negative. Got to do to do. Okay. Negative, negative, nothing, nothing. Okay. That's a lie she told me. And I'll tell you why I say it's a lie. Because the other girl in the company, she said, I mean, not to. She just paid me. The company is saying that they don't have no money to pay you, but yet they got money to yes. pay to get the truck Repair. fixed up. What are you waiting on? Four cappuccinos. Four cappuccinos. Let's go. We know for a fact that you don't have no money. You you did not get you you did not get paid today, Friday. I'm out here for two weeks. Yes. No money, no paycheck, no nothing. What was the what, of, what was the reason the first week? What was the reason they gave you the first week that you didn't get paid? That they were low on funds. They couldn't pay. Okay. So they was low on funds and they couldn't pay you then. So a week goes by. We're here in the second week. Again, what was their reason again? The second week, which is today, and and mind you, this is all text messages, okay, that I got from her. And I'm reading word for word because I told her, how, how can you pay and not pay me? Now I'm taking it personally. He said, it's not personal. Everyone's bills are due on different days. Okay? I know she absolutely needs it, so we paid her. Okay, so what they got, what, what they got to do with, I, what, what my money got to do with, 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 other, with other people? Y'all not paying me. Where's my money? And that's what I told her. I said, I'm, I'm talking about Aminata. We're not, we're not talking about other people. And, and and honestly, it's none of your business when my bills are due. The bottom line is my paycheck's on Friday. I have a contract with you. Period. Period. And I, I told her, I said, listen, run me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. I'm not going to listen to nothing. Okay. Run me my money. Hey, give me my money. Give me my money. And I've been checking my bank account. I told her, you got an hour. Have the money by tomorrow and there won't be any problems. Huh? Yeah, 24 hours. Run me my money. If I don't see my money, I told her. I'm going to do what I got to do. So, uh, it's been 24 hours. Got my money? Oh, I, you know what? Just give me till next Friday. I'll have it for you. Oh. Oh, that's funny. I could have sworn I said have it today. I, I cannot stay out here. Ah, yeah, that's Ow. what happens. Ah, 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 Where's my money? Ah, ah, you gonna give me my money? Where's my money, man? They owe you for two weeks, though. Not just this week. They they owe you two weeks worth of funds. So that's what you're actually looking for. You're looking to get confiscated for two whole weeks of funds so you so if they so if they don't I, i'm not telling you what to do how to do or when to do it i'll just tell you what lockout men would do lockout men would hold up for that little bit if that money ain't there then lockout men would start that truck up and tell it right yeah. back to uh illinois 
and park it and call it a day. That's what right. lockout men would do. The reason I call you is because I want to be sure when I take this load back that she's not going to be charging me with load abandonment. If I park it in her terminal, in her lot, take the pictures of the condition, uh, how everything is, my lawyer, he will handle. I will get my money. Period. He's already, he's already going to send her a letter already because I'm over it. Like, this is too much. And now it's going to be a bigger problem because now I clearly know that she's singling me out. Okay. And, and now I know he's not, you know, I'm being retaliated again and discriminated in many ways. She's singling me out. And it, this big problem started when I told her I was sick and I'm not moving that truck. I'm getting spanked, if you will call it that, whatever, legally retaliated against because I made a decision as a professional driver and I made the right decision. So I'm being retaliated against for doing so. Your problem is the ass, it's in a coffee. It isn't the ass, it's in the coffee, it's the asphalt. It's making me sick. I can work on that all day long. Okay, that, that should not have nothing to do with you getting paid for services that was rendered. That's, that, that should not have nothing to do with that they messing with your money and that's the and that's the problem with these companies and they wonder why drivers do the things that they do it is no way possible that you going two full weeks without getting paid and they still inspect you to take that load all the way to arizona no no Lockout men is not going to drive this load to no Arizona. Lockout men is not going to drive this truck no more. I haven't gotten paid. There's no money. Two weeks with no explanations. The only explanation you can tell me is that you guys have to pay uh, uh, other people, but pay me, the driver? No, man. No, ma'am. No, sir. Um, what lockout men is going to do right now is bring this truck back to your terminal, and we're going to call it a day. I'm going to take pictures. I am going to take pictures. I am going to take pictures. I am going to to secure the trailer uh, or secure the truck and trailer give you the keys if you're there if they there leave the keys with whoever's there make sure you get their name information or whoever's there and uh and call it a day call it a day that's what that that's what that's what lockout men that's what lockout men would do now answer about the abandonment i i don't think there would be one because you brought the truck back to the terminal back to their terminal you secured the truck you you you, you brought them their truck back so i don't i i don't think an abandonment would be something that you should be worrying about an abandonment is when you would leave. No, an abandonment will be something that you worried about if you will leave the truck where it's at right now. Get up out the truck, hop on a plane, and then go back home. That's what an abandonment would be. But this like, but this like drill sergeant said yesterday, if you was to drive that truck over to a DOT inspection or to a where uh way station, you get out that truck, you tell you tell the DOT officer, hey sir, hey ma'am, I'm not I'm not safe in this truck. They will shut that truck down. 
and you would have to find some way into getting home anyway. And it still it wouldn't be considered an abandonment because federally they shut it the truck down because it's not safe to drive. Uh, give me one of these, will you? And a large coffee, at least some room for milk. Ready? Since you're nowhere around uh, a way station or a DOT, turn that bad boy around. That's what lockout men would do. Lockout men would turn that bad boy around, put in a text, hey, um, lockout men here, I'm bringing the truck back. I'm, I'm bringing your truck and trailer back. Um, it seems as though you guys is not paying me. I refuse to drive this truck anymore due to the fact that you guys did not pay me. I don't work for free. I don't work for free. My name is not free trucker out here. We have a contract. I deliver the loads. I turn in the paperwork. You pay me for services rendered. That's how that works. It's not me taking the load, delivering the load, and you come back to me with excuses every week. They don't work like that. It don't work like that. This like you guys want to get paid from the brokers when the load is delivered. We want to get paid at the end of the week for doing the job. Y'all playing. Y'all play too much. And y'all wonder why drivers is leaving your trucks abandoned in, in bumfuck Minnesota or at a sketchy truck stop or or over at the airport. And then y'all come back to new truckers talking about, oh, well, we're going to take an escrow out because, you know, truckers have a bad habit of uh, uh, abandoning the trucks and we need to get compensated for it. No. You guys is treating the drivers wrong. You treating the drivers like shit. You treating the drivers like like they cattle or something like that, bro. You don't do that. So what lockout men to do, he would take that truck and trailer and load, drive it back to Illinois, park it in the yard. Thank you. Please come again. Now, if you don't send me my money, you don't send me my escrow, then we're going to have to accelerate this uh, uh, up the ladder. And it's just unfortunate that this is out of Illinois because a lot of drivers in your situation has been beat. Every time they try to get a hold of a lawyer to try to help them out to get their money, the lawyer will come back and say something to the effect that they can't get their money. They, they, they A out. They ass out. I hear you put a lot of milk into it and lessen the chance of stomach distress. I can't be worrying about every little thing. How you mend it? Doing my best here. That's what I was going to do is, is try that, you know, since I'm not getting the money, okay, right? I take their truck's trailer back. I just trying to protect how I make my money. I, I don't see any issue. Take the truck back, take pictures, leave the keys with whoever. If they is there, if they is there, I, I will take it upstairs or whoever and say, here's your keys back. The truck and trailer is outside. Am I going to get paid today? No? Okay. Well, take it easy. But I have to still wait till Monday to give it to them because the facility is locked till Monday. Oh, then in, enjoy the weekend. That's what you do. Go park the truck and, and, and find a movie, take in the movie, uh, take in the sights of where you at, and uh, Uber into in, in the downtown or 
whatever the case. And then, and then maybe uh, Sunday night, going into Monday, uh, you just drive to five hundred. It's only an hour from my house, so. Uh, okay, I'll park then, at the curb then, side. then park the truck, park the truck, take an Uber home, enjoy the weekend. That's what you do. That's my advice. That's that's my advice. That's what you do. I want to thank you for being there for me. You're for welcome. Advice for for just being my friend because sometimes, like yesterday, I left that uh, meeting we had. Right, I left it with more than I went in with it, and. I value that because I needed that because what hope I have, you know, he gave me a little more hope. You give me a little more hope, you know, and, and it was very nice talking to him because I needed to hear from somebody that's in the same situation as I am medically. You know, to say, hey, I understand, you know, because th this is messing me up in more ways than one. I'm going to miss my chemotherapy, unfortunately. It is what it is. But, I mean, if I don't get out of this truck, honestly, this bitch is going to kill me from stress. I'm not going to die from cancer. I'm, she's going to kill me from stress and nonsense and bullshit. So I just want to thank you, and I don't want you to ever think I don't appreciate you and your friend because I appreciate you. Not a problem. I, I am so blessed that I was here to uh, to assist you. Uh, I'm blessed that I was here to help you and just to be here for a year. And, uh, and, and thank you. Thank you. I mean, if nobody haven't, if nobody haven't, if nobody haven't said it, uh, thank you for your service, and I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swimming around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah.